wanted to show you something I've tried over the last uh, couple days. So this is the slime that I made about two weeks ago. And hopefully with this video you can see there are little holes where something has burrowed through. Um, there's lines and it's started to liquefy somewhat. Um, I don't know if it's just chemicals or if it's some kind of an enzyme reaction to the parasites that are in the, the soap and glue mixture. But um, there's bubbles all on the top, like little holes, burrow holes, and there's little burrow holes on the sides, and they go in kind of different directions. And so I wanted to see if it was a chemical reaction to the Elmer's glue and the laundry dish soap, uh, laundry detergent. So I created one where I didn't touch it to my skin at all, and you can see there's no holes on the top at all, and there's no burrow holes in the sides. Nothing. There's no ah, it's dripping. There's no burrow holes at all in this. There's a, the the uh, color is just from the mixing of the thing, but you can see on the top there's no holes burrowing out at all. There's no bubbles or anything. Whereas this one had holes. Now it's kind of liquefying, but those are holes all in the top and on the sides. So I I kind of proved that it is not just a chemical reaction, these little burrow holes that are in the soap mixture, that they are probably parasites because if it was a chemical reaction, this other one would have had the same re response and it's been a couple days and it, and it has not. So um, guessing that this does act as a petri dish, it was just, they, I used the exact same Elmer's glue and I used the exact same laundry uh, soap. So there couldn't be any differences in that. The only difference was is I played with this one for 20 minutes in my hands. So I'm guessing those are parasite burrow holes. Anyway, um, I wanted to share that with you. So I did figure out a way to see if it was a latent chemical reaction or if it was the parasites. And it is definitely the parasites. There are no, no burrows in this one at all because I, I haven't touched it to my skin at all. So that kind of proves that there is something going on um, and something coming out of my skin with the moisture content of the, when I touch water or whatever. You can see clearly it definitely is different. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a blessed day. Check out my blog, thesecretisgratitude.com for more um, on my symptoms and diagnosis and check out my YouTube channel, The Secret is Gratitude, for more videos about this parasite called horsehair nemotomorpha. Thanks for watching and have a blessed day.